Hi guys and welcome to Thrasdown.com. This is Mohit Soni. What is in front of you is a maxi scooter that has come to the Indian market. This is the BMW C400 GT. Uh, this is the GT variant of the C400 range. Uh, it has been launched in India at 9.95 lakhs. Uh, this is the first video. That is the reason why uh, I am giving you the price immediately. And of course, we've written the scooter as well, so our review is finally here. Uh, we've been excited because the Maxi scooter market is evolving. Uh, we are getting it in many ways. We have the Aprilia SXR, the Suzuki Bergman, uh, which are in the lower segment of the category. There's a new entrant from Kiwi uh, that is also here. But of course, this is the BMW. This takes the cake because this is a 10 lakh rupee 400 cc scooter, a performance oriented scooter. At the same time, it's got BMW's uh, you know. Uh, iconic design everywhere and the heritage that is associated with the BMW motor art, uh, you know vehicles and uh, this is also one of them so as always let's begin with the design you can see the quad LED DRL setup which looks fantastic the LED lights are also really good the spread and illumination is also good enough for our roads right now the only part where we can uh, not see the light is here but after that the light illumination spread and uh, is pretty impressive these are 15 inch wheels which have 120 70 section tire at the front this is almost super bike like but the uh, wheel size is 15 instead of 17 you've got the led turn indicators here which also looks really nice uh, let me just start the scooter and show you what it is like let me start both together because we have hazard lights on offer yeah that's how it looks like it looks really nice uh, you've got an heaven screen which is very big good for touring but uh, sadly it's not adjustable um, yeah that's the scooter side profile looks really impressive grabs a lot of attention on the road as you can expect and uh, you've got a BMW logo here a lot of busy design going on here with black grey and white being chosen for the particular scooter it's got a BMW logo here just like any other uh, motorcycle Turn indicators, LED lamps are here, which is very huge. It almost feels like it's being taken from the K series of the BMW Motorrad uh, motorcycle. 14 inch wheel at the back, very large exhaust. Uh, that's how the engine looks like here. And uh, these are the massive seats, really comfortable because they are soft. So they're good for small to medium, short, you know, small to medium trips. Uh, harder seat will be required if you plan to do uh, a lot of long distance but the space as the back takes the cake because it's really spacious it can see accommodate a lot of people huge grab rail making it very very practical and uh, that is the backrest for the rider which is amazing uh, we covered almost 160 kilometers on it in a day and we were really impressed with what it can offer and uh, the footrest for the rear passenger and uh, you've got the uh, overall look of a true maxi scooter huge size long wheelbase uh, and it's a, I think it's one of the most prettiest scooting, uh, scooters uh, despite it's got that uh, robotic look, the alien look that you get at the front and on the side. And uh, now let's jump to the instrument cluster where you can see BMW iDrive sort of controller is here as always like any other BMW motorrad bike. And uh, you've got a menu button here, press that and uh, then use the scroller here, go inside while you're pressing it here, you can see all the stats. To see the uh, tachometer, you'll have to go into the urban setting. Uh, yeah, there you can see the tachometer, fuel efficiency, fuel uh, filler, temperature, as well as time, along with hazard uh, lights on offer. Uh, the warning light, sorry. And start stop button is here. Keyless entry uh, for uh, st the keyless start. The, the key is still here, just in case if you out of battery. And uh, same goes for the fuel lid as well. And uh, you have to switch it off. As you can see, the scooter is switched off. Simply pull this and it will open and uh, close it like this. But if the uh, ignition is on, as you can see, it is on right now. No matter how much I pull it, it's not going to open. So that's a nice move. How to handle lock the scooter? Uh, move the handlebar, lock it, press it for 5 seconds and that kill noise means that the scooter is locked. Since it's locked, I'd like to show you that if you have the key in your pocket, you can access the storage here as well as here. You can keep things here as well as here on the inside. There's a USB port inside, which is really impressive. Um, so BMW has sort of, see that's how it unlocks. They've tried to make it as practical as possible. And even more practical is this, that's how you open the boot. A hydraulic strut for a scooter a seat to open, making things easier. But I wish the, uh, the, uh, the travel was longer, so it could have gone all the way till the top. But I guess there were limitations. This is the case uh, where you can keep a good amount of stuff, to, but to extend it, press this all the way to the side and it will accommodate even more stuff. And uh, 
but you can't ride like this because it will come down all the way till here touching the wheel so you can only use it as storage while you're gone and when you come back you remove the helmet or whatever stuff close it like this and uh, then only the ignition will start or else it won't and uh, it will keep on prompting you saying that the flex case is open please close it to you know start the ignition and uh, yeah that's the order practicality on offer that's the technology in offer uh, you've got the bmw motor connecting app so you can connect everything via the app you can use the bluetooth settings uh, as you can see there is navigation media telephone on offer these are the settings where you can uh, again uh, control via the iDrive and uh, yeah you can use it like this as well as you can see I wrote it and it goes up and down so all the settings can be done here uh, there are lights for example auto daylights running on so that's the uh, button here for the DRL high beam starts like this hazard light button uh, really impressive let's uh, go back to the main menu and uh, switch off the scooter show you the fact that there is a main stand here on the scooter so you won't be able to pull off very crazy links uh, on a track or anything like that but uh, that's about one of the part I want to explain before I start riding and tell you more about it now let's jump to the riding part so what is the BMW C400 GT like to ride well this is a 350cc scooter making 35 PS of power and 34Nm of torque uh, made it to a CVT gearbox the engine is very smooth very refined uh, it's very quiet until unless you open the throttle is when you hear the exhaust note which is uh, quite loud but not loud enough for a 400cc obviously we have to blame the emission standards and everything else uh, sound limitations to keep the governments happy uh, but the scooter is throaty has a good base and the moment you open the throttle you will realize that uh, people do notice the bike the moment you open the throttle as well apart from the fact that they are always looking at you because the way the scooter looks but uh, yeah the engine throttle response is linear the throttle play is also quite short that's the reason why you get a lot of horsepower and torque immediately from the throttle uh, low end and mid range is good even top end is really impressive even with a heavy rider like me I was able to see 125 rather easily BMW is claiming uh, the top speed around 140 kilometers an hour uh, we could easily see 135 on our de-restricted segment uh, which was very impressive for a scooter uh, which just makes uh, you know 35 ps and 35 newton meters and weighs quite high and uh, the cvt gearbox there is not much of a whine from it like other scooters bmw's made sure the malligation between the uh, gearbox engine is really impressive it feels quiet, refined and very easy to modulate. You are going to find this scooter surprisingly easy to modulate within the city as well. The fueling is good throughout the rev range right from 100 rpm all the way till 7000 rpm. So uh, that will make the scooter very easy to ride in the city and we can confirm that aspect after spending uh, three days riding it in the city and mostly on the highway because we could not uh, escape the part of riding it on the highway because it's such a comfortable scooter the seats are really nice and like I told you in the beginning uh, the wind blast is going to feel slightly higher because uh, for taller riders uh, but shorter riders will find it really really impressive but at the same time both of them are going to suffer in the city because the air doesn't go through quite well uh, and it can heat up in our situations and uh, that can be a bummer in the winter or uh, in the summers but most of the time it should be great if you are keeping up pace uh, and uh, riding it at pace you won't find it much of a trouble um, what else we told you it's really comfortable the way you sit the seats are soft and the ergonomic package also is really impressive both the front and rear brakes super sharp really well they break from top speed also in no uh, with no you know drama and uh, the braking power is absolutely solid the tires also support that aspect really well uh, I think these are tires that can uh, you know take a lot because there's a lot of grooving on offer these we've never tried these Pirelli scooters before but here in intermittent conditions where well, there was water as well as uh, dry roads at the same time it took all of that really well once they were heated up and uh, that is something uh, you know BMW has taken off care of quite well it's a BMW so it has to ride well uh, it feels light surprisingly to maneuver in the city the wheel race can feel a tad bit long but uh, this is how the scooter is it's a 400 cc scooter weighs around uh, you know uh, weighs around quite high so that is uh, going to feel a tad bit cumbersome but once you get used to it which we did in the first three days uh, we found the scooter not to be a troublesome at all uh, the pillion also was really comfortable and uh, I showed you all the features, how it looks like, how it rides, we are really impressed with how it corners with stability, how it stays stable on the highway, the brakes are good, the tyres are good and how the lights behave. 
uh, the pricing uh, is it justified well of course uh, not entirely but uh, you are getting something truly unique uh, you don't see the scooter very often uh, when, uh, even after a year of its launch so it's very unique you can still book one get it in some time because it's going to take some time like any other vehicle in the market the waiting period is quite high because of the pandemic related uh, supply issues but uh, this is one scooter that you look forward to uh, you know when you are dreaming about bigger scooters bmw has bought it here finally a lot of other manufacturers have scooters they have not bought it at all but kudos to bmw to bringing it and uh, we are really, really really impressed by this scooter we can't recommend it enough uh, if you are in the price budget if you are looking for something truly unique uh, because it has the performance the comfort the unique uh, character along with the unique looks uh, that you look forward to then there is nothing else like this in the market and you'll have to pay a price for it i think that's it thank you so much for watching our video make sure you like it share it follow us on our website and social media for everyday updates and uh, i'll see you next time in the next video until then goodbye